Hello oh, there we are, I'm Lee Sass. Welcome back to Sev Tech. Oh, I thought I'd do a little bit more. Well, well I've got time for a session. And um, I've decided we're going to go and look for sacred animals. And, well, a sacred animal. Sacred animals and a plant is what we're going to look for. So there is um, there are some ritual things in here you can do as part of this pack. They are a bit like, I mean, you can see the TP outside and various other things. I've got like the... The tomahawk. There is a bit more in the in the American Indian type theme of. Or should, I, should I say American Indian or Native Native American? I don't know. You what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm. I, I'm trying to be too PC about it. We all know what I mean, okay? And we we're talking totem poles and 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 buffalo and that kind of thing, okay? And and in this case, musical um, ceremonies as well. And that's what we need to do to get some of the progression on to uh, the next area over here so the first thing i think i'm gonna do this is the first time i've ever done anything with totems or, or music so i'm gonna get a lot of, make a lot of mistakes here i'm sure but i need i've been reading this totempedia over here and i want to grow a where is it a tree i want to grow the red cedar which is apparently important for some of the things i need to do i have to do that i need to do the right of spring to do the right of spring i need to have uh, some instruments. And I've already got those all three already. I've got a rattle. Yeah, I've got uh, a drum. And I have um, a flute. And apparently, for some reason, I'm carrying a broken bone, which is a sharp bone, which is broken. I presume I picked that up from a zombie at some point. So, um, these things together. But I also need to make a totem base. So, if we look on here. Be quiet, zombie. No one cares what you think. Totem base, here. And to make that, I need a totem whittling knife. A knife for all your whittling needs. Cool. Oh, God. <laughs> Napping flints again. That was so much fun last time. Let's do some more. I think that's all we need. A flaked flint. There we go. And because it's a two-piece recipe, I don't think we even need to use the damn crafting stump. There we go. Right. What I don't have, though, is... My temporary doorways. I don't have any logs. Now, where are we going to put this? Oh, someone's on fire. How are you doing down there? He's, going, he's carrying a broken bone, see? Again, the zombies at this stage do not carry things like... Swords and the skeletons don't carry bones either because you might pick them up. If you want to know what a skeleton carries, <laughs> he carries a trumpet. No, <laughs> I'm not even joking. So, uh, we'll, we'll see one of those guys later, probably. Oh, goodness, right? There's no bow at this point, so we're going to chop down this tree. Not a benefit of this map pack. How are you growing on slate? I don't know. Ready. It all vanishes very quickly. Isn't that nice? To have them break down. By the way, and these sappies replant themselves, which is pretty cool. So we need some sappies anyway. We need some wood. Let's do a ceremony. A lot of my special trees appear to be out here. So let's do a ceremony. Oh, bit of lag. Over here. Uh, we need... I presume we put this on the ground. Put that on the ground. There we go. Let's, uh... Oh, God, so many plants out here. And it's getting dark. Oh, okay, let's try this again. Now, where's my whittling knife? What? I can't. I now. I now. Now I can't see it. I know it's in my pack, but there it is. I could not see that. There we go. A basic base. Now there's lots more bits you can build. Obviously, there's. Uh, let's just build it a bit higher. We can do some more things later, can't we? There are lots more pieces of totem you can build, and all the animal sort of um, characters that you can put on there, and they all mean different things. But right now, I don't actually care about this. All I need is the base, is what I need, and I need to do the right ceremony. And according to this, I need the right spring, which is um, flute and totemist drum. Now, the drum you put on the floor. I need to put some sappies down as well because I'll put that in my offhand. Like that. 
Let's put some. I don't know how much what the range on this is, but we'll find out, won't we? Let me put one at each corner. How about that? And we'll put one outlier. See if that gets affected as well. Right. So what I think you do. Get this out of the way. And that. See. So how do you start it? It was flute, was wasn't it? How do you do it? Nothing appears to be happening. I don't appear to be progressing. Is that not how you do it? It's over the clicking in the background, by the way. So I started it, but I did. I know that you're supposed to get a progression bar. Let's look at the Totempedia again. Sneak while playing to use selector mode. What's selector mode? Maybe I should stop sneaking afterwards. Hmm. As you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I got it. Okay, is that is that a that's a red cedar? There we go. Oh my goodness! I think this one <laughs> it took so long to this one grow on its own <laughs> into a normal tree, but it worked though. So the right of spring should make everything grow faster, and I've got a red cedar over here. A couple of red cedars that are working. Do I dare pick them up? I can. Then we can plant it somewhere else now. Um, well, that's okay. They can grow here. I don't mind why they grow here. That was kind of painful. So the trick was, yeah, I hold shift. I hold shift when I select the um, the flute and then the drum, and that's what starts it off. But then the timing is critical to get the. If I do it too soon, see if I do it. If I snatch the drum too fast, it doesn't work. Wow. Okay. Well, hopefully that means the next one will be easier. So the next one to do is. Um, uh, the sacred animals. Okay, so have I? That's a, this is not actually achievement. Doing doing this red cedar is not an achievement. I need the buffaloes. Okay, so let's put, put this damn thing away for a start. So I've got some cows in here that I've been keeping. How did you get out of here, sheep? Did you did you escape from my thing? I don't think so. Come here, you. I'm gonna put you put in your in my, in my pen with the rest of the sheepies. So yeah, I've got some cows um, over there in the uh, in the barn that I've been breeding up slowly. Part more than anything, just to get the leather off them. But I also need them to make the buffaloes because um, now none of you escape. Okay, I'm not in the mood for it. Hello. Here they go. They're all gonna escape now. Not in the mood for it, sheep. It's getting dark. The zombies are gonna come and eat you, and then who'll be sorry then, huh? It'll be you, won't it? Well, there you go. Red cedar's grown. What a beautiful, majestic tree. What a gorgeous creation. Let's chop it down <laughs> quick because I'm sure I need it for something. I'm surprised I'm not making. May I make special totem poles out of it? I'll say like that. I don't know yet. It told me I needed to do it, so I'm sure it's important. But we'll find out probably in a minute. What it's actually for. And it tells me I need red cedar for a uh, for a recipe. But anyway, forget red cedars for now. What we need right now. Oh, sadly. What we need right now is a cow. Or two. I don't know how many it's going to transform. I'm hoping it's going to be a, uh, a few at a time, but we don't know. Come here, you. Casually pick up a cow. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Mm. Superhuman strength. It does at least slow me down a bit. And I have I don't have the best view in the world, do I really? From the cow's uh, the cow's derriere. But we only need two buffaloes, so I'm kinda hoping it's gonna do two buffaloes in one go. Mm. Are you halfway between the two? 
I think you are. Right, just don't go anywhere, for goodness sake. Let's go get another one. And I haven't actually looked into it yet, but I'm hoping it's just another fairly simple ceremony to get the uh, to get the buff. Mm. But maybe I have to do a maybe I have to carve my totem pole a bit more. I should really, you know, if I was prepared, I would obviously read the book first. I'll have a look at the, the Totempedia in a minute. The Buffalo Dance Ceremony. Of course it is. This beast used to roam the lands in large herds, but was mysteriously wiped out long ago before you came into this world. I, I'll, mm. I'll tell you later why they were wiped out. Mm. It's actually quite obvious. Uh, no, I hope he's lost. Buffalo Dance Ceremony is able to give strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes. Although a weaker kind than those who were once native. Oh, a wind chime. I've not made a wind chime yet. How do, how do you uh, how do you make a wind chime? Please don't say it's anything too complicated. Oh, that's all right. Sticks and a but it's not even particularly complicated. I've I've got all that stuff, thankfully. There we go. So presumably we have um, like a bone and a flint clapper, and this is like the frame at the top when we've got two. Like maybe dried sugar canes hanging down to to do the uh, the rattling on the side. I do like the style of some of the things that are made in this pack. They they seem to seem to make sense as far as that goes. Now where am I going to hang? I don't suppose I'm going to hang it off of my um, off of my totem pole. It doesn't seem very respectful in some way. But and how do I do? I have to bong the I have to bong the wind chime. It's not really how wind chimes work, but okay. Um, we could put it maybe here. Uh, can I? How do these connect? Do I have to have something above it? Maybe I can hang over. I know it's ugly, this cobble stuff, but I'm limited. I know I'd use fences or something, but I can't. Because I don't have the option yet. Really? What am I supposed to hang this on? Oh. I'll get the damn thing down now. Uh, maybe it just doesn't like fences. How about that? Maybe I can use... Or oh, it's just not tall enough. I'll put one of these on top. Why are days in Minecraft always seem so short? Never enough time to get everything done, is there? I don't want to be too far from the dam. Was it a drum, wasn't it? Was it drum and drum and bass? Drum and drum and uh, chimes. It's like an early form of drum and bass. I don't know. We'll do that in a minute. Try it in the morning. Oh, they are making noises. Okay. But only when I'm shifting. Okay. So, according to this ceremony, it's drum, then chime. Well, okay. I just hope I'll be able to bang it after a... I'm back to the same sort of problems I had before, aren't I? Maybe I can... Mm. <laughs> this is not working, is it? And I can't even hear all these damn things. The chime's going off. <sighs> okay. Right, I think I've had a revelation, which is that... Once you've started the chimes with the correct ones... Ah, I'm slipping! Stay ahead! Once you've started the tune with the correct chimes in the correct order, oh, I've slipped it. Then you can play any, any instrument you like to keep it going, which is easier than trying to bang these things. Well, I finally got it to work, and we've got these two little cuties here. Um, but it is, I find it incredibly frustrating, is what I found it so far. So I'll give you an indication of what you have to do, the sort of idea you've got to do here. So you, you, I'm holding down shift, 
So I have to click this one and then this one. Why are you doing? Oh, I've got to remember now. Sorry. Start with an open hand, okay? And if I had a totem staff, I could cancel this, cancel this. But as it is, I've got to let it run, run to the end. So what you need to do, I found, I was struggling before. I managed to do the the easier Rite of Spring one because it's a simpler dance. I think is the, is the, is the answer. And I managed to get away with it doing it in the worst possible way. A better way of doing it. So I've got to shift click on this, then this one. I'm going to have to quickly switch to the rattle and do the two things together. You ready? So I'm alternating between the left and the right clicks and occasionally bang on the drum. And apparently you can max out the different instruments as well, so you're not... Um, I'm not going to transform again, unfortunately, into <laughs> bigger buffaloes. <laughs> You can max out your instruments, I think. So they're going to be used so many times. Um, mm -hmm. This thing's still playing away nicely. So the more complicated ceremonies, I think we're going to have to have more things. And there's things like a jingle dress and other items that you can do to make mm -hmm. uh, make the the, uh, the music go a bit further. I started to make some more jingles, but I ran out of boats. I couldn't make more of the things that I needed. So where if I look on the jingle dress here, I'll show mm -hmm. you. So I think for the later ceremonies, I'm going to have to you know make these things here the jingles take a lot more bones bones are hard to get bones really only come from inside creatures so <laughs> when you sometimes when you kill a um um uh, a cow or something like that you will get a bone or kill a horse you will get a bone out of it but otherwise bones are hard to make you can make bone meal and stuff like that fairly easily but getting it back into bone shape pretty tricky so um we now have these little fellas here and Unfortunately, I can tell you why they're extinct now. And that's because the reason we're even making our sacred animals is because we, we need their teeth. Mm. <laughs> that's right. One second. So to move on to this area here, to make up a gear, uh, we, we the, the teeth on the gear are literally teeth. They're buffalo teeth. So I've got to... I presume now I've got them, I can breed them together and uh make more at least i hope so make more of them because we're gonna have to kill them just for their teeth which seems kind of a i mean why do you have to do that i mean it's your sacred animal why are you why are you killing your sacred can't you use something more i don't know can you use these toenail clippings or something something that's a bit less vital so it just require removing key parts of his body i mean you could make a nice rattle it's your sacred animal and you've got his toenail clippings and you you could make a nice rattle out of it and that would be good wouldn't it you have to actually take his teeth and he's probably his bones out and i hate to tell you this but the next sacred animal we've got to get is the eagle and you guess what we're going to do with them that's right we're going to kill them as well but that that let me have a sleep and we'll do that in the morning right the uh the eagles might be a bit trickier because like the like the like the buffalo there are there are no eagles anymore do we actually need the eagles yet let's just have a look at our achievements do i ancient animals collect their hide and their teeth i think it's only the buffaloes that i need for this do i actually have to do the eagles maybe i do i'm not sure I'll have to see about that. Um, I'd rather not. So the way you get an eagle is you have to go and get parrots. That's right. So rather than transforming... Mm. Can we lift you guys up? I can. Oh, you're a bit heavier than the cow. Okay. You're only a little one as well. We'll get you over here. We'll put you with the rest of your cow friends. And we'll breed you up. I think these are only baby ones anyway. Baby buffaloes. And uh, we can also use them to drive the uh, the thing, by the way. We can use them in space for horses to drive the, uh, the the various machines. I presume they're better than a than a horse. I don't know. Yeah. It'd be nice to do that rather than actually just pulling their teeth out. So, yeah, we need to go and get... Come here. Come here. Come here, little fella. There we go. We need to go and find parrots. Now, there are no parrots, of course. In of, there are no parrots in Stan of Minecraft, are they? I don't know. It's been so long since I've actually played any Stan of Minecraft. I have no idea. There's polar bears saying so there may be parrots or a thing. I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, in SevTech, um, <laughs> legs. The uh, the uh, there's there's a logic to the. Um, let's go through here. 
there's a logic to the 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 north and south to some degree in that if you head further north far enough it will get cold and if you head to the south it will get hot okay so we need to head to tropical climes to find parrots and then we need to do some sort of ceremony let's have a look in the in the in the totempedia uh that's the no bark stripper where is the eagle dance there we go the bald eagle a sacred bird we're gonna take his feathers out probably his bones yeah feathers and bones um eagle bone whistle and stuff like that i bet we need that for somebody in baycock they're almost extinct strange that um the eagle dance ceremony turned parrots into bald eagles <laughs> raw fish and bread with salmon okay we've got raw fish and salmon so that's good i've got some of those at least how how complicated is the eagle dance Welcome America. Does that mean it's more complicated? It's three. So the buffalo dance was a. That's a two. That's a two music. The, the right of spring is better a one, isn't it? It's a one. So it's obviously a more complicated song, than the. Um, than the other one. Do you only make it easier to go and get parrots and bring them here, than trying to? Oh, we can we can at least go and try and find parrots, can't we? That might be fun. At any rate, we can go for a little right. We'll leave our instruments here because I can't actually carry that much stuff. I can't make a bag or anything yet. Um, oh, an egg. A nice fried egg. Can I eat a fried egg? I can eat a fried egg. It's a Roy. Can I cook an egg in there? I can. Cool. I've got loads of eggs actually. Where's all my eggs? Oh, let's not waste them. We can do it. I've got loads of food, but let's do a few. Hold on. I didn't even realise you could break them. Oh, is a chicken. You you can be my little friend. You can stay here. Try not to get yourself cooked or anything, okay? Yeah? Right. You're not an eagle, are you? In dis a, a parrot in disguise, are you? Well, you're in luck, then, because we're not after your bones. Right, so, so we do actually have a map, which is here, and that is south. It's not a very good map, but it's better than nothing. What are we carrying here? We can at least go and try and find parrots. And we can see what we can do with them. Now, what weapons have I got? What items am I carrying here? I don't think I need my my work knife. And I don't need... I do need... I do need a new sleeping mat, though. I need one of those. Uh, we could just try and go without it, couldn't we? We could just try zooming off. Let's just kind of have a look. Let's kind of have a little explore. I bet it's my probably armed, though. Sharp bone's actually pretty good. And so is the axe. The axes are very good. But... The only problem with axe is that it's really slow to swing. You probably saw when I was chopping the other day. If I get the axe out, up it comes. Whoosh. And it, comes, it takes a long time to swing it every time. And sometimes, actually, it's easy, easy to use my tomahawk, which I can also throw. Um, and the bone I can't repair, but at least I can repair this. I, mean, I think the key thing, as long as I've got some food with me, we should be all right because I've got a form of transport I can use over here. I haven't showed you this fellow yet. Let's go and see Julian. Julian's in here. Here he is. He's a horse I tamed earlier. Should we go for a ride, buddy? We can do one sleep out. Okay. Now what I've got to be careful of though is I'm not very used to uh, to doing the jump. No, I always do the jump too late. Oh, let's back up. Get out of the <laughs> there we go we're out okay which way is south and also as well as well as julian here we also have a cart that i've made in fact which is i presume you can i've not actually tried it out yet run out of the way chicken did we, run, did we just run down a chicken and get a feather that's kind of disturbing what down hold um the uh yeah we've got a cart which has chests on the back and can't calm down fella we can um, we can in theory pull it with a horse I think or possibly a buffalo and carry stuff in it but the trouble is you don't go anywhere for any any amount of time in Minecraft and you we meet water so how is a cart going to manage water I, I don't think it will will it I can't imagine it it will 
how do we get around this? It looks like we can go over this way. Must be around. I don't know. So it's hard enough for the horse, because there's piranhas in it. There's piranhas and shark in that water. And I can't really see that... A little bit of lag there. Lo map's not loading fast enough. It's going to be hard enough to get Julian across here. I mean, have his, have his feet eaten off by, uh, by a bunch of piranha. Let alone... Uh, a village over there cool let alone uh, getting a cart across the river I mean maybe the cart will float I don't know how are you doing guys it's it's only chickens here by the look of it anybody here hello anybody have you all been eaten by zombies careful Julian there you go fella 